Hello everybody, my name is Brady, and we are back with some more Civilization VI. So we're gonna hit next turn. Um, yeah, I, I'm uh, enjoying what's going on right now. This is a really fascinating gaming experience. I, I, I feel like I wasn't ready for it at first, like the commitment for how long this game was gonna end up being. Like we just now passed the halfway point where I turn 255 out of 500 it doesn't mean that it has to go that long but like it potentially could go that long is the uh is the uh kind of i guess kind of scary part of the whole thing like that's a lot of time to spend on a game series um especially since uh, the enthusiasm for it not from me but from you guys seems to have fallen off a little bit but like i i really like it I, I, I really enjoy this game, and I, I guess uh, I've always played games so long that they, uh, that uh, you guys lose enthusiasm before I do. That, that tends to be how things end up going with the way I play games. Maybe if I was more consistent with my uploads from the beginning, it would, it would have worked out better. Uh, that's my bad. That's, that, that is my bad. I got the itchiest nose right now. Uh, my allergies are awful this time of year, so I'm hoping that doesn't end up uh, hurting my ability to do videos. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded videos in the summer. I just haven't really done uh, done much of that. So they, we're gonna see, I, I guess, how uh, things end up going. I'm also about to probably be a lot more busy uh, than I typically am. I'm uh, applying for some new positions and stuff and trying to get some new work and get some new experience and stuff. So depending on how that stuff works, uh, my future schedule may end up getting uh, moved around a little bit. I think that's a, a good reason for me to focus on finishing series that I've committed to for a while, like Civ just in case I have to put them on the back burner in the future. Um, so I could finish this game, take a little bit of break, and see if I can, uh, hmm, what do we got here? They want cotton. Joint war, Pericles. Um, you know, I don't mind this. I, I don't mind this, really. This, this, this could be fine. Um, can I get a little bit more money from them? Let's let's do 50. Let's see if we can really uh, uh, push them a little bit. Hmm. Can we do that? Oh, we have to start war with Greece. Oh, no. Oh, which I mean, we'll have an ally. Maybe this is the best time to start war with Greece. Oh, geez. My warmonger penalty is severe at that point. Let's do it. You know, I've been waiting. They gave me a little bit more money, and that's nice. Uh, we we've gotta we've gotta do this. We've gotta do what we've gotta do, man. Um, oh, are are you friends with uh, those grease guys? Because uh, we might wanna figure that one out. Um, are you our enemy? It looks like they might be our enemy. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Should I wait a turn and see? It, it looks like they're about to... It, it, maybe that's just because we're at war in general. I don't know. But, okay. We gotta start. We're gonna do some things with some other pieces. We're gonna... Find our... Uh, so we've got this guy right here. Uh, yeah, we, we've got to start waking up these crossbow people, moving them to our little frontier area, and, uh, make some action happen, man. We can do it. We've got a lot of pieces to move. Ooh, we, we've just committed to something big, and it was rather sudden. I don't know how, how ready I was for that. We're gonna make a little road to Atlanta. That seems like a good idea. 
Atlanta's going to be a, a pretty vulnerable in all this. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll uh, just do one to Washington because that'll yield us some more food. That's probably the most productive trade thing we could do. Okay. So now we have to decide if we're going to attack these guys. I mean, if we're not at war with them, won't it just say, do you want to declare war on them? All right, or are you sure? So, like, if this attack goes through, that means we are in conflict, right? Yeah. At least that's what I think it is. I'm going to have to get the nomadic horde to do some stuff. Dude, I'm so nervous. Um... I guess with Chicago, they don't really need these crossbow guys, do they? They're, like, s super safe from Greece and stuff compared to a lot of the other ones. We're going to move those guys in. Charleston. Um, let's wake them up and name this unit. Hell, yeah, we're going to name this unit. Um, we're going to move you. We're going to wake you up and move you. Got a lot of a lot of people to move. Got a lot going on. I I'm nervous. I I don't really want to be fighting with these like city state types. That's not really a concern I have right now. Um. Okay, wake you up before you go go do 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 do. do. Yeah, we're going to have to really move a lot of people down here because we have uh, we have to take out Greece, and they are expansive. They are a big place, so we're going to have to be taking Greece on from this side, and I guess those other people are going to be taking on Greece from the other side. And who knows? This guy might end up getting pulled into it. This might be uh, a broader conflict that I'm prepared for. But I guess taking big risks might make, uh, make the series more engaging. Uh, Maybe, maybe that's what the shot in the arm that this series needed. I mean, being a warmonger, admittedly, it has made the series more exciting for me. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. We're going to move that guy up. Um, I should probably keep at least one crossbow guy kind of close to my, uh, my main stuff, you know, my main people. Um, St. Louis, uh, you're working on a thing. Can I see what, what else we could work on? Can I change our thing? Yeah, I, I want to see what we got here. Um, hmm, I'm a little nervous about a lot of these things. St. Petersburg, the, uh, these guys might be helpful if I could move them out here a little. This will work. We'll get there. We'll get what we need. Right now, we're still fighting with uh, guys I don't really care to be fighting with. Ranged attack. Pillage or ranged attack? I, pillaging requires me to fix things after the fact. And I don't really want to do that. Like, if we just shoot him from here, it might be safe for a little bit. Um... Hold on, let me uh, adjust this. We're going to move you guys this way. And uh, we're going to shoot you with our trebuchet. Once these guys are done, I'm not too worried about Kabul. Actually, I have nothing to do with you builders. I, I've filled a lot of the space. We're gonna just move these guys into Atlanta, just for safety. Oh, we have a cannon guy! I forgot we had a cannon guy! Let's, let's, let's get the cannon guy over here. Dude, come on, cannon. Yeah, I'm so glad we remembered that, uh, cause that would've been a problem if I had a camera guy, camera guy, cannon guy, and uh, didn't make effective use of him. That would be bad. Let's do next turn. Okay. Nomadic Horde. Take them out. Oh, we did it. We're so cool. Okay. 
Now, there doesn't seem like there's anything we can do with any of these guys. I might move the Nomadic Horde and uh, may maybe I'll have them uh, fight these guys. I don't know. Why are you guys still sleeping? You're fighting with me, but you're still sleeping. <laughs> That's not good. I don't want to take Kabul, but it seems like they might be cool with Greece. I'm, I'm not sure if that's how it works. Does it does it say here? Um, it's at war with me. And, oh, okay, so they're at war. It's not necessarily cool with Greece, but we're at war with them. Probably because these guys are at war with them. Gotcha, gotcha. This is quite the relationship I've been pulled into rather suddenly, but uh, it it definitely makes things a little bit more interesting. Oh, that's that's bad. That's bad. That's real bad. Um, yeah, these guys don't seem like they're fighting back against my uh, my trebuchet. So we're just gonna keep shooting them. It'll uh, it'll work eventually. We're gonna move you guys here. You can't shoot yet, can you? No, not yet. Um, we got crossbowmen. Oh, we gotta change our production. I guess if we're talking about production, we should probably, ooh, Rough Riders. That might be a good idea. That might be a good long-term investment. Let's do that. I think we'll need that eventually. Uh, we're gonna fortify until healed with you guys. We're gonna move up here. And uh, we're gonna follow with the cannon. Because why not? There must be something you can do. Doesn't seem like there's a lot. Hmm. Uh, we'll get you later. We will get you later, I assure you. Okay, trading, trading. What are we doing? We're trading with people. Um, ooh, these guys give us an okay amount of stuff. That's 25 turns, though. But it might be cool to trade with some people we and it gives us some stuff we don't typically have and it gives us some culture yeah sure let's try to be cool with them for now like if we can do anything good for them while we're destroying greece like we're already getting like super warmonger uh penalty so we've got a war on uh it's not really two fronts right because it's like it's firmly separate sides here. I don't know. Make straight roads. I mean, firmly. The crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. What I meant to say is that they're too close, not that they're too far. Um, can we change my government? Uh, we need war stuff. Can we do th some war stuff? Uh, district receive. Gain plus four melee strength. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, change production. Sure. Um, you can archaeologist is a unit you can use. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's make some rough riders. I'm very interested in what they can do. I'm gonna move these guys out of range. Let them heal a little. Send an envoy. Hell yeah, I will. Amsterdam. We we haven't uh, we haven't made cool with Amsterdam yet. Uh, Kabul. We don't like them apparently. Um, uh, we don't like these guys either, I guess. Um, okay, we don't like a lot of these guys. We're cool with these guys. Well, we're not. We're kind of neutral with these guys, so we're going to send them our friendship. All right, let's shoot. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pre pretty, pretty, pretty good. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got we've got this uh, this whole war thing under control kind of we're gonna shoot at these guys Because uh, they're actually threatening my units the people in Phoenicia don't seem to have much as far as defenses go uh, I believe that's one of it's slightly newer compared to some of their other places <laughs> Hmm What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? 
It's an archaeologist. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we don't have any archaeologists right now, but it would be nice to have one in the future. We're going to make you guys sleep for a little bit or something. City ranged attack. Who's got... Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't want you hanging out over here. Try to take out Zanzibar. Zanzibar are my people. They're some of my favorites. Oh, Philadelphia, you got a guy. Oh, he's already set to move. Cool. Got things under control for now. Um, what am I going to do with you? We're going to move you right over here, right across the water. I know they might be good to have to defend Zanzibar, but uh, I, I don't feel like the threat on Zanzibar is that huge right now. I know we're, we're at war with a lot of the other places. Like, this is Carthage, right? Yeah. Okay, right now, I feel like Carthage isn't really tough enough to pose that big of a threat to us right now. But we'll see. Um, ooh, this looks like a good place to settle. Let's, let's send some people over there, and then we'll start making some military uh, gains with them. We're using 106 gold per turn. Ugh. That feels like a lot. Or is that per turn? I don't know if that's per turn. Um, maybe we need to actually make some money. Some mother freaking money. Let's uh, do that. We're gonna prioritize money in the capital. I think uh, we could do that over here, right? Uh, not, not the horseman. I want to click on Los Angeles. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem it. It doesn't make a difference over here. Um, who got money? Who got good money? You got good money? Oh, LA got money. We're gonna prioritize some money over there. We're gonna need money. Money is a necessity. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the Civilopedia thing I've always been told I should use. Um, how do I disband you guys? I'm going to have to learn how to do that. Um, because I, at some point, I am going to have to make the decision, like, who do I maintain and who do I not? And if I'm going all in on something like, uh, what's it called? Uh, if I go all in on something like that, uh, the words, um, on the, 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 the fighting stuff, on the domination victory stuff, if I go all in on that, then yeah, I'm, or dom dominion, is that the term? The Dominion victory? If I go all in on that, then I am I may not need certain units as much as others. How are you guys doing? Um, seems like we're doing okay. They have one hidden agenda. Ooh, that sounds sneaky. Um, let's do another ranged attack. We're going to start really putting a dent in these guys pretty soon. They're going to be hella surrounded. Hmm. Okay. Just give it a little time. It's going to take a sec, but we're, we're gathering a lot of people nearby. Then we're going to surround Corinth. Then we're going to surround Kabul. Maybe we'll just take Kabul after we've taken Phoenicia. I don't, I don't know, because these guys are kind of a pain. Um... Form core. Um, how does that work? Oh. Oh. I didn't know you could do that in this game. Um, okay. Okay. That that's a thing. Uh, we 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 just we just did a thing. I think these guys are really good now. Um, whatever that did, it it's exciting. Ooh, is that a is that a general? Oh, they got Sun Tzu. I want Sun Tzu. Give me Sun Tzu. Can 
Can I work diplomatically with these guys? K Kabul. Currently at war with Suzerain. Cannot make peace. Okay. That's fine. I, uh, I didn't want to make peace anyway. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a coward? Yeah, yeah, I'm not a coward. He either thinks I'm a total coward or doesn't want me questioning my own uh, bravery. Whichever it is, not a coward. All right. Phoenicia, you're going down. Uh, actually, he might be saying it's close to his bedtime because I've been recording these videos a little bit later. Uh, we got we got like 10 minutes before your bedtime, bud. You, 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 can, you can wait 10 minutes. I like that he... He reminds me, not by like going into his cage or whatever, uh, but by just getting a little grumpy, he'll he'll remind me. Oh yeah, it's time it's time to put the bird away. Come on, you want some attention? I I can multitask. I'm not like fighting a war or any. Oh, money. No money due to anarchy. Ah, anarchy. Ah, how do I unanarch? How do I undo that? Ah. Ah, what do I do? Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. Ah. Ah, what? How do I, how, anarchy for one turn. Okay, okay. So we we will get better. We will get better. We're going to have to see where we are next. I don't I didn't see where that started. That that made me scared. So these guys are kind of heading over here, and I don't like that kind of thing, so I'm going to head them off and see what happens there. Maybe I'll send a, a, a couple uh, crossbow people to, uh, to see what they're doing. It might be a good idea. A trader in Virginia overheard that Norway has built a medieval wall in Krestangan. Oh no. Krestangan. I don't know how you actually say that. Okay, uh, what's happening now? Ah, what is this? Ah, barbarians. When, when, how did that happen? Um, oh, we can film, uh, form a core with those guys. Uh, we better, uh, take on these, uh, barbarian dudes, because, uh, that is not something we want to have in our backyard. Um, I'm, I feel like this is, this might be slowly falling apart. I'm not sure. Um, what's happening? Government, there's some policies under that government. Um, religion. Oh, does the anarchy thing happen because I changed our form of government? Does that, that happens, right? Like if you change your form of government, doesn't the anar anarchy set in for like a turn or two? I, I kind of like that as, that, that, that's a sensible downside to have. Because you shouldn't just be able to change your form of government overnight just because you wanna. <laughs> uh, that would be rather bad. Forbidden City. Can I purchase anything? Well, I have no money. I, of course I can't purchase anything. Uh, trader. Yeah, let, let's invest in some trading. Why not? Um, file, po fill policy slot. Yeah, let's fill a policy slot. Sure. 100% production on, uh, one movement starting turn in, f uh, I don't know. We're gonna do this one, and I might need to pillage a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Because um, pillaging seems to help when money is tough. So since money is tough, we're gonna just found a new place again. Um, we're going to build a plantation. Cool. Finally have something for these guys to do. That's exciting. Um, choose production. Sure, let's choose a production. Um, I don't know what we want to do. Build a monument? Uh, lady says build a monument. Commercial hub? 
I think we could use money, but my god, we have like nothing. We have no that 431 turns. That's like no production at all anywhere. So that's bad. Um we'll start with monument, maybe we'll change it later. Okay, these guys are gonna have to move a little bit. We're gonna set them up to attack these barbarian field cannon things. Ha uh, having random barbarians pop up here, that, you know, that that's a, a perfectly rational thing to happen, I guess, if you're just gonna totally screw up your uh, system of government out of nowhere. Like, I guess I understand. Oh no, he shot my horsey. Okay, we'll see what they do next turn. They might end up taking out the Nomadic Horde, which would not be good. I've never been in such a powerful yet vulnerable situation at the same time. All these things to do. Barbarians, we got Rebellion. We need amenities. What? Oh no! From the dust to which our civilization first rose, so too shall we return. As the light of our people fades to nothingness, we wonder if one will rise to rekindle our flame. Dude, I didn't, I, I thought I'd have more time. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> just one more turn. I don't think just one more. That that feels like cheating, but uh oh god, damn. Oh man, I I I spread myself way too thin. Everything just start and then I started focusing everything on what I I Okay. Okay. I did a bad job. I did a bad job, guys. Thank you for sticking around for this many episodes for it to just end like this, but like I guess it is what it is. Um so we did really bad, didn't we? Um, we must have done really, really bad. Um, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, we were that one. Um, you know what? Honestly, we still could have been. We could have been doing better, really. Um, like we we had a lot going for us, and I was just reckless. Damn. That's upsetting. That is that is legitimately upsetting with how much time I put into that. I mean, this was my uh, my little test thing just to see how things would go, and I didn't expect it would be such a long run. Um, yeah, I I see all the ways that I went wrong, really, or, or at least a lot of the ways in which I went wrong, but I. Felt like I was able to gradually pull myself back, but then I was just like, er everything caught up to me and I, I wanted to be aggressive when that probably wasn't the smart thing to do. Oh. Damn, I, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little sad by this. So, um, I guess as far as the future of this series goes, I will probably return to it eventually. I, I guess... I'll put it aside for a little bit. This is one of those series, like, I can come back to it really whenever. Whenever I'm willing to commit time to doing a whole nother game. And next time, I feel like I'm going to be a little bit more ready. Um, I feel like I wanted to expand because it, it's fun to have a lot of stuff. But I think being able to have uh, a more stable, smaller civilization may have been stronger for me. But I, I guess... We're gonna find out what happens when I almost inevitably return to this. For a little bit, I am going to focus on some of the other series that I've had. Uh, the Assassin's Creed Odyssey series has been on the back burner a little bit. I have the uh, uh, other Assassin's Creed series that I'm doing for the members as well, but you guys have seen a couple episodes of that so far. I'm, I'm going to prioritize that. I haven't done GeoGuessr in a little while. I, I have so many games that I have on 
my uh, to-do list that it's probably a blessing that I get to put this aside for a minute, but I was just starting to, like, really have fun with it, even though I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I, I, I think it was, it was still fun. Uh, so I have a lot of games that I do want to play, but I am going to try to wrap up some of the series that have been ongoing on this series. I was going to do that with this one. I didn't think it would be so soon. <laughs> oh, it, it caught up to me real quick. Um, so, yeah, next time I'm going to uh, take into account everything that I've learned today. And uh, I guess I'll get back to you with all that. Um, as far as game, not game options, that's not what I want. Um, sorry. Um, single player. When it comes to... Don't don't worry. I know it's over when it comes to the next I like I played on what like warlord. I believe uh, I don't I, I think it was warlord or chieftain one of the two so I this was still a pretty low difficulty I think I if I play it again, I might try to crank up the difficulty a little bit more and like uh, I don't know take it take but take it a little bit uh easier in my growth and it, since i will know a little bit better what i want to do the barbarian clan mode i think it had some fun features to it uh i don't really understand what the tech and civic shuffle mode thing is exactly but i think it uh uh might be something i'll look into uh i think it would be cool to play with like a gigantic map but also that might be something too big for me to commit to so I'm not sure. The game speed, I think I did a standard one. I was thinking like, what if I committed to like the biggest, longest, most crazy game ever? But like, I love to do these things and then I, I end up sucking and then it's not as fun to watch. So I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Um, I guess this series died just in time though because it, it's at it's at the uh, the lowest level of popularity on my channel right now. So I, I guess if there were any time to take a break, this is the one. People seem to be a little burnt out on it. Just when as I start enjoying it more, people start getting burnt out on it. That seems to be a, how a lot of series on this channel go. I start to like really enjoy things, and then you guys are like, eh, do something else. I get it. I, I It'd be that way sometimes. Um, all right. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around for this. I feel so disappointed. This 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 lovely, this fantastic adventure we were on. All right. We'll, we'll be back one day. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. All right. I'll see you next time. All right.